guys, it's me, Christy Lee. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, I think. Pretty sure I'm right about that one. Rooster says hello. Um, so before I begin, if you're new to my channel, thank you. Welcome for being here. I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm a little random and all over the place and, you know, that's just who I am. Um, and if you're a returning viewer, thank you once again for being here. Um, today's video is going to be about everyday items that anyone can sell on Etsy. Uh, when I first heard about Etsy, I thought that you can only sell homemade items. And maybe when they first started out, that might have been the case, I'm not sure. But recently, I started looking into selling on there and I found that there are many things that any of us can sell on there. So I was going to tell you about 10 of them that I feel like anybody can find around their house or you know, out in nature and you could uh, possibly sell on Etsy and make a little bit of side money. I'm not selling on there yet. I do have a shop. Um, I think three years ago I might have listed one thing and it never sold, but um, I, it's definitely something that I'm interested in doing and I'm going to be looking into it as soon as I can kind of afford, you know, because th there is a listing fee um, for each item. It's like 20 cents, which isn't a lot, but if you've got a number of items, you need just a little bit of money to get started. Um, all right, so the first one is pine cones, and I've got two examples here. I collected these one day I've got a huge bag of them and I mean I live in Florida so there's pine trees everywhere and I know that pine trees grow pretty much all over the northern US I don't know about other countries I'm sure you guys have some kind of pines over there I think they're like one of the most popular kinds oaks and pines seem to be one of the most popular kind of trees around here so here is a pine cone that's on the larger side it's very smooth um, kind of glossy looking very nice shape. I like it. And then here's another one on the smaller side. It looks different. It comes from a different kind of pine tree. I don't know the specific names. I could probably figure it out, but you got to count the needles and how many needles grow on what kind of branch. I don't know. Um, but these are not glossy and they're a little bit prickly. So you can sell pine cones either, you know, raw, natural like this, or you can paint them, you can decorate them. Um, so, you know, if you happen to be in a place where you see pine cones all the time, just go out and collect a bunch. Um, number two is gonna be acorns, and I've got a few examples here. And acorns you can actually sell whole, like this one. You can sell without the caps on them, and you can sell just the caps themselves. So here are three regular looking acorns. This is a different type of acorn. It looks a little bit different. And then again with these, you can sell these natural or raw, or you can decorate them. And here I have an example of one that I have spray painted gold. The third I was gonna tell you about is moss. And I don't have any examples. I could go outside and get some because it's literally right out there but um, moss includes the green moss that you see growing in like forested areas um, though you do have to be mindful it takes a long time for that moss to grow back so you want to be res uh, resource mm, responsible when you're resourcing your moss so if you happen to be in an area where there is moss growing um, you only want to take small bits at a time, uh, like maybe one strip. Don't take everything from that area because it, it won't grow back and you'll be depleting the, um, the source and, you know, we don't want to lose our moss forever. Um, and then like Spanish moss, you know, that gray kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it, the gray moss that hangs from a lot of like oak trees, you can sell that. They actually use that for a lot of things. Um, and then of course if you've got like fish tanks and you've got extra java moss or coca moss, things like that, but right now I'm just talking about things that you could probably walk outside, walk around your neighborhood, or go out to a park somewhere and find. 
The next one is going to be rocks, stones, and pebbles. Um, all of the things that I'm talking about are things that people use for arts and crafts. That's why you're able to sell them this way. So, you know, some interesting looking rocks, pebbles, stones, anything like that. Um, I actually, on most of my fish tanks, I got the gravel that I use in there outside and I just cleaned it up and sanitized it and um, I'm able to put it in my fish tank. So people use things like that for a lot of, a lot of things. Um, number five is going to be sand. And um, this sounds a little strange, but uh, once again, people use sand for different things. And, um, you know, if maybe you live close to a beach and you've got really white, beautiful sand, or maybe you live on one of those beaches that are up north that's more like a, a black colored sand, or maybe a red colored sand. You know, people, we take for granted what we see every single day, and we don't realize that people around the world or in even other parts of the country that we live in don't see things like that, and they might really like it. You know, I've always had this idea, and I don't know I haven't done it yet, but I used to want to. Um, every beach that I've gone to, I wanted to collect a little vial of that sand, you know, and have a collection of the different kinds of sands. Okay, uh, number six is going to be nests, and and I'm talking pretty much any kind of nest. Uh, bird nests, wasp nests, hornet nests, of course you want to make sure that the nests are no longer being used, obviously. Um, and here's an example of a wasp nest that I found on one of my walks, and I have spray painted it gold. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it the gold color I mean. But I've spray painted that gold and that's going to go with my decorations. Um, yes, okay. Um, and once again you can do those natural or painted. The same with the uh, the stones and the rocks and things like that. You can even, uh, I've seen on there where people have huge nests like this and they mount them to a nice piece of wood or a piece of acrylic and they sell it like that. Um, number seven is a little weird, but I do have a small collection of my own animal animal bones. Um, unfortunately, um, because we have chickens, we have cats, we have predators around here, and from time to time we do find dead animals and bones, and I have a small collection of animal bones, including a turtle shell and some kind of um, skeletons, uh, skeleton, no, skull. Um, so people do buy those. I've seen that people will buy chicken leg bones for like, like voodoo type stuff or you know like the, I don't, I don't know, I don't know anything about witchcraft or anything like that, but they definitely buy and sell those on Etsy. Uh, number eight is gonna be leaves um, and especially magnolia tree leaves poinsettia leaves, um, mistletoe. If you look up in the trees, especially this time of year when most of our trees lose their leaves, you'll see bunches of green sitting in the tree. That's probably gonna be mistletoe. Um, and you can sell that. Um, number nine is gonna be twigs. So if you have like birch trees or certain types of maple trees or you know, um, there's certain types of uh, branches and twigs and things like that that people really love to use in their decor and things. Um, you can either have them natural or you can cut them into pieces that are about the same size. And, you know, wrap them up in a little um, yarn and sell them in bunches and things like that. Or you can do multi-groups. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I wanted to show you guys what I've done. I've been decorating a lot with uh, twigs and branches lately. So if you guys watched one of my videos, you would have seen me doing this, and I know it's going to be hard to tell, but this is a American sycamore branch. I love these kinds of branches. I believe I'm getting that right. American sycamore. I believe I'm getting that right. Um, but I have spray painted the branch white with gold tips, and I really, really love it. I have a huge centerpiece right now of it, and I plan to do more. Um, and the golden white thing is really, really popular right now. So you can, like I said, you can paint them, decorate them, or just leave them natural and raw. And then number 10 is going to be feathers. And for someone like me who has chickens, I find feathers all the time. And some of the rooster feathers, when their their tail feathers come out, they're long and really colorful and pretty. People love feathers. I mean, it's just, I, I like feathers. Um, but bird feathers, you can find them. You can sell them natural. <clears throat> 
Well, once again, you can paint them. You can even use these things that you find to make little arts and crafts. Like I saw a, um, it was like an eight by 10 or 11 by 13 um, framed where they just took um, regular old white bird feathers or duck feathers, I'm not sure, and just kind of painted some color on it, uh, glued them to a, a, like a piece of material and put a frame on it and they're selling it for like 40 bucks. So um, yeah, that's the 10 items I have for you guys today. And I just thought that it would be a good idea. I'm looking forward to trying to start, you know, selling some of these things. Um, again, most of these things you're going to list under the arts and crafts supplies, and that's where people are going to be looking for them. And when you go to list, there is a 20 cent listing fee, but I think it lasts maybe 30 or 90 days. I don't know. And then it may be charged back. I, you'll have to look into that. And you'll have to look into, there are ways of preserving these things. You don't have to, you don't have to preserve. Like I know that I could bake this for a certain amount of time and it would, and do something else. I, I have it all written down. And I would be able to list it as preserved. But if you wanted to do it just raw, natural, nothing has been done to it, you can do that um, and just put it in your listing that it hasn't been treated with anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please hit the like button and maybe share it with your friends. And I thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.